Hi everyone, my name is Jens Vogt and I'm here in Indianapolis at the testing lab for Silka and we are gonna test the ultimate tubeless sealant. Let's see how it holds up to this. This ends up to be a six millimeter hole. I'm gonna punch into this tire right now. Let's see how that works. And we turn it, the sealant does its magic work and the tire is still rideable. Let's try this again. Yep, you can hear the noise of the air going out. All sealed, all good. Let's give it a bit more of a punch. It still works. Isn't that fantastic? So, test done. It does work exactly what it says it will do. So now, how is that possible? I have stepped that tire like about 30 times and it still holds the air and all these holes are sealed. What's the secret? What's in your product? It's, it's a liquid latex, natural latex, which is what a lot of the tires are made from. But we've got carbon fiber strands that form what we like to call a carbon dam. So as, the, as you puncture it, the, the sealant, which is why we're spinning it first, to get the foaming action, and then the foam bubbles all go towards the puncture, and they carry the carbon strands with them. So you just end up stacking up layers of carbon, which is why it holds to where we're still probably 60 PSI on this tire. Um, and it, it can support that because the carbon is so much stronger than what you would typically have in a, a sealant like this, which is usually like glitter or plastic. So for me, for a better understanding, what are the size of this carbon pieces in there? It's like a millimeter, 10 millimeter, even smaller three, than that? Yeah, three, six, and nine millimeter pieces. And they're all in that liquid? Yeah, bro. Well, you shake it up, you can see in the front. Oh yeah, yeah, oh absolutely. Yeah? Alrighty, and then they all get melted together, oxygen, the latex, and the all that gets, uh, yeah, to seal then the hole and becomes rubber, basically, right? Pretty much, yeah. And, and unlike, you know, most of it, microfiber is probably the most common, and the carbon is so much stronger and stiffer that you actually end up with a much stronger seal. So, you know, like if, if your tire sealed at 40 PSI, with most sealants, um, and you pump to 50 or 60, it, it'll reopen. And because you need a thicker seal, whereas with ours, you can pump up typically much higher. But I think we started at 70, we're probably still at, in the 60s. But if we went to 70 or even 80, the, there's got to be 100 punctures in this tire, they, they'll all hold. So just a little bit of a different technology. It's pretty fascinating. And I'm really into this, so I'm going to give it a few more goes. That was about five holes in once, and it's all gone. And it's it's quick too. Look at how many drips. We've, yeah, there's like one, two, three, four. It's probably eight little drips of sealant that have come out. That's all done. Yeah. It is like magic, really. It is like magic. <laughs> and especially people probably notice once they're out there on the road, they have a puncture. You go, oh, sh -sh -sh. you just hear that little sh -sh noise. It seals itself yeah. and you just keep riding happily into the sunset. So that is, it. it's a pretty, well, it's almost a life-changing experience, I would say. <laughs> no more punctures, no more dirty hands. You don't need to have to fix it anymore, or pump it up anymore. Just keep on riding. It's so fantastic. Yeah, when, when we were developing this, I had it in my commuter bike and there were four or five times that year that I would get to work and like that. It had a puncture. With a little bit of sealant on the, the frame or whatever. Mm -hmm. You had no idea. And you haven't noticed. That's how it should be, yeah. right? Fantastic. Thanks for all the explanations.